Today I'm out here in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm gonna share with you a condo that you can currently buy for approximately 160,000 US dollars. And make sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'm gonna share with you the gym, the pool, and the rooftop. So let's go and check out the condo. Hey, uh, aloha. Kione. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you. Come inside. Thank you so much for inviting me to check out your condo. Oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a small condo. It's about 38 square meters. But um, as you come in, right over here is a, a toilet. So <laughs> if you need to uh, go ahead and Utilize it, it's fine. <laughs> okay. And you did say that you changed the shower head, right? Yeah, the shower head I changed because the original one came down a little bit too low and I was a little bit too uh, tall for that. The original one came down to your chest, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is real nice how you decorated the um, room. Thank you. Yeah, this is the living room. Um, I decided to put like a, a bar over there where people, we could eat, but also to uh, take advantage of the view. It has a nice view of the city. Uh, it has a nice view of the, the small river in the side over here. And uh, yeah, one thing that I was real um, conscious about was the space. And so this uh, sofa turns into a bed. And um, you know, the utilization of uh, appliances that would be multi-use appliances was important so that we could conserve space and also the use of storage although this has a lot of storage you know over here uh, it has a lot of storage areas that's primarily for the kitchen and things but for everything else you know i i looked at purchasing things that had drawers and with this one um, I'm gonna put blankets and, and pillows for people who stay, who wanna stay down downstairs, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So you could definitely have maybe like four people staying here. Yeah. If you have some, uh, some family coming into town, they could definitely stay here with you. Yeah. And you were saying that uh, this is actually a microwave, but also an oven, right? Yes, uh, it's a microwave, a grill, and a convection oven. So, you know, it's it's, it's small, but it's all that you really need, yeah, if you want to uh, do stuff with it. I, I noticed that a lot of the apartments over here, uh, condominiums over here, don't have ovens. A lot of the homes don't have ovens. And so, you know, having a small oven to make some cookies or something <laughs> like that would be great. Yeah, and beautiful countertops right there, too. Yeah, it's a marble countertop, and there's a, a two-burner stove over here that uh, you turn on from the bottom so you don't have it on all the time, which is really good as far as safety is concerned because uh, you know you don't wanna accidentally turn it on and burn your hand or something like that. And this has a, a, a air vent too, yeah, so. Oh. Yeah. And this is vented outside, so. Um, it's, it goes through here, it's got candy and coffee, <laughs> yeah, but it goes through there, so it's not recirculated air into the apartment, so I thought that that was really, really nice. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. And you were telling me that uh, this washing machine is also a dryer, right? Yes, it's a washing machine and dryer, so you can set it to wash and dry. You can do seven kilos uh, at wash and dry, which is enough you know to do uh, a regular load so, wow yeah yeah that's something that uh, a lot of people should keep in mind is because most people out here in thailand they wash the clothes and then they have to dry it on a on a dry drying rack right. or something like that i'm i'm jealous i wish i had one of those in my in my condo <laughs> yeah and you know a lot of people don't realize because the patio space is really small but i didn't mind it because uh as i started looking at properties I realized that the patio space was included with the overall living space. So the larger your patio area, um, the more it took away from your inside living space. So, you know, that that's important. Yeah, yeah I feel you. Yeah. And uh, you were saying that you 
were a tattoo artist, right? A traditional tattoo artist? Yes. In, uh, in Hawaii? Oh, yeah. wow. Can we see some of your tattoos? Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, this was all done traditionally. Wow, look, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. And this was this is one that was done by the person that taught me how to tattoo. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Let's so you want to go upstairs? Oh, the other thing is that uh, you can utilize the space underneath the stairwell. You know, uh, I keep shoes over there. I'll keep uh, towels and things like that. So, you know, you got to look at different ways of utilizing space, yeah. I also have a condo that's two stories. Yes. And I've noticed that it makes you feel a lot less claustrophobic yeah. having a two-story condo. Yeah. And so this space is a little bit smaller, but, you know, it's comfortable enough. Again, I looked at getting things that I could uh, store things in, uh, have a library or something like that. Yeah, and uh, a little workspace over here. Then eventually I'll, I'll get uh, another computer and, and put it over there. And uh, over here comes with two um, air conditioning units, but I rarely use the large one. I just put that one on and it's comfortable. It yeah. keeps the room cool enough, right? Right. And also uh, you mentioned that there's a BTS station nearby, right? Yeah, it's 300 meters away, the Onnu BTS. And so, you know, it gives you a little bit of exercise to get to there, but, you know, it's it's nice. It's okay. Nice. Yeah. And you were telling me earlier that they have a really nice uh, pool area, too. Yeah. And rooftop. They, they have uh, a pool on the first floor, and that's connected to uh, a sauna and a shower that you can go to. Um, they also have a pool on the rooftop in the, the adjacent building, which is part of this whole complex. But that pool, uh, they just put it in not too long ago, so I would expect that it probably be finished in about a month or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's go and check out the pool. Okay. Are you able to stand in this pool? Uh, yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, it's not deep enough for you to, but it's still deep enough for you to swim without any um, problem. But you see over here, I don't know if you can tell, but there's step downs so that, you know, you can enter the pool real easily. Oh, okay. Yeah, real nice. And they had, they had some uh, long chairs here before, but I think they were limiting the amount of, uh, people over here utilizing the pool. So, and this is actually an infinity pool. So, the water flows over the edge. And when you're coming into the building. Okay, Keone, let's yeah. check out the gym. Yeah, this is the top floor gym. And this is one of two gyms. And this is a smaller one, uh, but it has ample weights and uh, treadmills and things of that nature. And the nice thing about this, this gym here is that it has a really awesome view. You can see the Honolulu uh, BTS from here. Um, and you have all kinds of real interesting views. They have lockers available, uh, restrooms of course. That's actually good to know that they have the bathrooms right here. Yeah. Some places they actually don't have bathrooms in the gym. Yeah. You gotta go to your room in order to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the views are just incredible, especially if, if the day was less smoggy. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So, this is a, a nice uh, outdoor barbecue area. You can sit down and relax. No, it's, it's kind of nice. It has an awesome view. I mean, it really does. This could be a good place to come and do meditation. Right, right. And, you know, in the, uh, in the sunset, and the sunsets and all that, it's real nice. One thing I was uh, really surprised, this is really high up, but you can still hear some traffic noise, like the B BTS 
can still hear it. So I was surprised. But you have a really nice view all over. This probably looks real pretty at night. Yeah, yeah, it does. I can just imagine it. Yeah. And you got a couple of seats over here too. Yeah. Do we have? Yeah. This is the second hill, and this is a little bit larger than the one on the 40th front. But it also has lockers and, and uh, restrooms and all of that. And it has all the same type of equipment, except it has this uh, universal system, which is real nice, you know. So they usually provide um, towels and things, but I think with the COVID stuff, they haven't done that. So they usually do that though. But from here, you have uh, a view of the pool from the, on the first floor. Which is pretty cool too. Just yeah. kind of depends on what you prefer as a view. Yeah, exactly. Does uh, does this place have a leg press machine? Uh, I don't think it's a leg oh, right there. Yeah, right there. yeah, there is one. These these have been so hard to find at condos. I hardly ever see a condo with a leg press machine. Oh yeah. This is good yeah. that you have that. This is a library. And. It's a nice quiet place. They have books available uh, in English, so that's kind of nice. Um, but it's just a real nice chill place. You know? And over there you have a view of the adjacent building that's called Building A. And Building A has a lobby of its own that has a coffee shop and they're still working on a lot of things. Yeah, there's a cafe over here, uh -huh. and um, if you wanna, you wanna have a drink or something. Oh, is it open right now? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's let's sit down and have a coffee. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a like. Every single like helps me out a lot. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna get updated for my future videos, subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, thank you to Kione for letting me take a video of your awesome condo.